Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And uh, I've come back to a place, I've been here a couple of times before, I was only here about two years ago. I'm in Church Town, just uh, in Godston, away from the village. Thank you, great timing. Quarter to 11. And here to look at St Nicholas Church, which I has never been open when I've been here. Um, but it says it's open on Friday and there's also a sign here. The church open. So yeah. Originally a Norman church, this is pretty much 13th century and then a big Victorian makeover. But if you look up there you can see the Norman chevrons uh, on the porch. So George Gilbert Scott, the famous architect of the Victorian era, did the major renovation work here in the 1870s. And it really does sit high up on a preface it, uh, above Church Town. So it could have been a really ancient settlement here, as I say all the time, going right back to Anglo-Saxon times, might be Neolithic as we're up on a hill, um, but it's, it's lovely. Got to do the door, haven't I? Got to do the door. I say, Church Town is really unique. It's like a little microcosm of Godston, which is like half a mile away from the main village. It used to be part of an ancient settlement along the old Roman road, London to Brighton Roman Road, you used to think about about seven miles. But obviously the two towns sort of split apart a little bit, um, which makes it unique. Let's see if it's open. And it's open. All the times I've come here over the years, it's always been shut. But I looked at the website, it says it opens like Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So I thought, right, Friday, let's, let's have a go. And it's open, fantastic. It's a massive, beautiful church. Ah, oh, huh. that's what I was looking for. the tombs of Sir John and Lady Evelyn. Um, famous tombs, they were Sir John involved in the preparation of gunpowder. It was a prominent industry in the area. And it was part of the Evelyn family, the famous Evelyn family. Here under th lies the body of Evelyn, second son of uh, Evelyn of Godfrone. <laughs> Godfrone. 1643, 1641. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely stunning. There is the Evelyn Mausoleum over at Watton Church. Was that built? I think that was built after 1640s. I think that's more 17th, 18th century. Because my question is why aren't they entombed there? But I think that was after Sir John. So a later structure, hence. Yeah, amazing. Edward's Evelyn, see, more Evelyn, Evelyn family. Bay Pond that you pass on the uh, trackway down from Gotham Main Village um, was built about 400 years ago, and that's all to do with the industry of gunpowder for the mills. So on this site, possibly a Neolithic settlement, later maybe an Anglo-Saxon wooden church, then came the Norman church, 1640s, 
superseded by the 13th century church and then a big renovation in the 1870s. So a lot, a lot of occupation on this site. The font there is 15th century, the font, 15th century. And the bells were cast in 1777. And this is fabulous, look. Jammer marmalade, £2.50. Isn't that fantastic? Probably all homemade. Probably church guidebooks as well. All very nicely produced, £4 each. Of course, I didn't bring out any money. I keep saying this in all my videos, so it must have getting really boring. But a lovely, lovely brochure, that. Really nice. A lady chapel I'm not sure it's very dark in here so I don't think you're gonna be able to see much um, oh, there's a little bit of a shiver here Barbara St Clair her tomb yeah Barbara St Clair Maclay but the rest of it's in Latin so I don't know when when she passed only a few Surrey churches really have a lot of these these kind of tombs. No one knows over in Lingfield, there's a nice one in there of the Cobham family. I'm so pleased it's open. So how, I've never been in here before in all the years I've been coming to Godston. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Here's some of the rectors of uh, Godston, going right back to, say, the 13th century church. Uh, Walter de Westerham. I've heard that name before, Walter. 1304 to 1308. It goes right up to 1991 and then Peter O'Connell 2016, so I imagine he's still the rector here. There's always a few missing gaps in these things, but that's absolutely fascinating. Look at that. It's lovely. Thank you, St Nicholas Church, for being open for us. Absolutely fascinating. So, if you want to come here, where the White Hart pub is, where we're having lunch, there's a trackway that goes past Bay Pond straight down to here to Churchtown. I love the name Churchtown, um, which is great. Yeah, St Nicholas Church, lovely, lovely. A few other little gems I want to show you, but they're outside, so uh, follow me. Here, I've said this in other videos, so please excuse me if I'm repeating myself. But this is the grave of John Trenchman. He became a smuggler in the 1600s, in, the, in his 50s, and was smuggling contraband from Croydon down to the south coast and back again. And one of his team eventually betrayed him to the authorities, and he was ambushed in Tilbitso Hill, Tilberto Hill nearby. Tilberto Hill, thank you. Uh, he was ambushed there and died of his wounds in the Fox and Hounds pub, which we have been in, where I recounted the tale there. So yeah, the villagers felt pity for him and got him buried here. And someone put a pound coin on the top here, which I'll leave, obviously, um, in case he wants to buy himself a cup of tea. But yeah, the grave of John Trenchman, smuggler. You have got the constant roar of the, uh, the A29 and the A25, which intersects at Godston. Um, but hey, it's fine, it's fine. If you 
go through the churchyard and down the pathway, you come to this lovely pond, beautiful pond here, where it's got a nice little ornate bridge. Yeah, did a nice walk around Gosden about eight years ago and we came through this way and that way goes round the back and up the hill. Um, might look just a quick look as we're here. Oh yeah I remember it now it's getting a bit muggy. Yeah. Church bells. I think it's quarter past eleven. Oh yeah, I remember now. You go down that way to the main road, cross over, then up the hill, round Godston, back into the village. Yeah. Public footpath, public footpath, public footpath. But we're not doing that today, because of my ankle still playing up. But uh, yeah, let's head back into Church Town. So here, it's a sarsen stone, a sarsen stone, gravestone. And this is the tomb of, uh, the grave, sorry, of Edmund Taylor, known to many as Walker Miles. And he was a great contributor to the forming of the Ramblers Association. So thank you very much. A sarsen stone is your gravestone, I love that. What I find fascinating looking at gravestones, and I'm not a morbid person at all, I'm a happy person, I'm not morbid. But it's interesting reading the inscriptions, how long they lived, just think all the experiences that particular person would have had. And then it's lost in time. You know, anyone from the sort of, you know, just think back to 1800s, most of the people have been forgotten, will be forgotten, all that consciousness goes on. Um, yeah, that's quite a sad thought, isn't it? That we'll be forgotten one day. Unless you made some sort of impact on the world. Um, yeah, we'll all be forgotten. All the videos I've done from Godston, I'll link in the description box below. Got quite a few of them. A couple with uh, Richard Bobes, the Bald Explorer some solo outings, the plane coming overhead, as you probably can't see on the GoPro. Beautiful almshouses were also designed by uh, Gilbert Scott around the same time he was doing the refurbishment on the church and they're absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And you've got this fantastic little well here as well, as well. <laughs> inside the chapel which is absolutely stunning from 1872 so this has all been designed by Sir George Gilbert Scott 
Isn't it lovely? Yeah, a little information board here. Yeah, so Mary's Homes were founded in 1872 in the quiet and pleasant church town area of Godstone. They were built by and designed by uh, Sir, Sir Gilbert uh, Scott. Amazing, beautiful, quite unique. There's wine there. You know, all the times I've come to Godston, a few little bits have opened up for me, which I didn't know about. I didn't know this was even open. It was all private. And you've got lovely views out into the, uh, the village. Thank you, St Mary's Chapel, for letting me in. We'll turn the lights off, just go down the road and show you something else, which is tragic, but uh, very, very interesting. This is Bull Beggar's Lane, a very dark and eerie road, which is quite appropriate. When the Black Death came to Godston, it pretty much wiped out the entire village in 1349. Absolutely tragic. And to add insult to injury, two great plague pits were made, were dug on Bull Beggar's Lane, separating the men in the men's field and the women in the women's field. So even in death, families couldn't be together. Absolutely tragic. The Black Death, I mean, think of it today. Just, you know, have a job, job done. Absolutely tragic, but yeah, it's quite an eerie, I mean, I don't do eerie, but it is quite an eerie road. It was more of a very, very small road, as you can see. Mm. Very quiet. So there's probably sort of, I would say thousands, probably hundreds of bodies in these two play pits. I don't know where they are though. I, can't, I do not know if archaeological evidence has located them. They probably have. I didn't see that when I was researching, so interesting. But you know, leave them be, leave them in peace. Oh, right, on a brighter note, let's head up to the White Hart in Goston Village, which we have been to numerous times before, an ancient pub and coaching inn. Apparently, uh, Queen Elizabeth I and Queen Victoria have stayed there. Interesting. It's a lovely, uh, lovely pub. I think it's 16th century, but uh, let's head up there. Oh, that was lovely in the White Hart. 
Thank you very much, Casey. Well, I think there's uh, the co-assistant manager or the co-manager um, whose hospitality was outstanding. That's how it's done. Really, really friendly. And nice little chat with her as well. Uh, with her as well. Had a lovely say, a lovely mixed grill. It was really delicious. So yeah, been quite a good video today. Um, to Nicholas Church in uh, Churchtown. Getting into Mary's Chapel as well with the almshouses, which is really interesting. So yeah, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff we do on that there YouTube. Yeah, it's been a good uh, good day. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Oh, and uh, come to the White Hart. It's really the great pub. Thank you.